What's up guys? Got another cool build to show off. This is one of my Flame Bronze Krakens. Got a little nick in my watch. I was just noticed that as I was starting to film. So <clears throat> we've got a Flame Bronze Kraken dial. I don't have many of these left. So um, these are painted and then they're baked. And sometimes you get little pock marks. You can obviously see it on the leg right there, and a lot of times you have them on his head. Um, just these little pock marks, where uh, where the metal kind of just uh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't want to say exploded. <laughs> That's not quite what it is, but it gives a lot of personality to it. So, painted blue. Uh, and then baked. This is in a bead blasted 710 case with a bead blasted coin bezel. We also have our uh, bead blasted and Kraken engraved crown. Bead blasted and engraved Kraken case back. So this is milled down. You know, you take a stock case back and we got to mill it all the way down and then throw that on. Uh, buckle is also done the same way. And then this is on a two-piece Kraken branded Horween strap. And then we've got a <clears throat> titanium bezel insert. It is very difficult um, to really show this thing off. It looks like it's brass and blue. There's a good look at it. It looks like it's brass and blue. But that is just... How, <coughs> man, I've had that in the back of my throat this whole time. It's how it is uh, lasered, because this is not lasered out of brass. It's lasered out of titanium. But whatever frequency uh, he used on that makes it look like that is brass. So these are a little bit expensive. Um, I think I ended up spending around 75, 70 or 75 on that insert. And then uh, I've had it here and just didn't know what to pair it with until I had what appeared to be a brass and blue Kraken. So, uh, Troika style, uh, silver hands, and then a custom painted seconds hand with a, a nice little white blue color in there. But uh, that is this build. And I thought it came out pretty freaking awesome. So that's the build. Bezel on this will turn left, it'll turn right. Just held on with a tension ring. Just got to line up your uh, your anchor there at 12. Uh, automatic mechanical, so you can wind it, you can wear it, you can put it in a watch winder, but if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you wind it just a little bit. And how you do that is you back the crown off of threads so you hear it and feel it clicking. At that point, you can wind it. And a wind is a turn that way. Turning it towards you doesn't do anything, but it's a lot easier to keep your fingers spacing and just go back and forth with it. If you do it for four or five seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, that mixed with the rotor movement, as this is an automatic movement, uh, will keep your time throughout the day. If you do it for something closer to 15 seconds, you're going to max out that 31 hour plus power reserve on it. You cannot overwind it, so don't worry about that. When you're happy with your winding, you will pull it to the one and only click, and you can now set your time. Does not have a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going. And you also notice you've got a wobble crown that deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement. So you're pushing and prying on it, you're not putting any adverse pressure through there. Okay, Google, what time is it? It's 5 and 9 p.m. 5 and 9 p.m. Okay, when you're good, push it over, get it out of that time setting, and then wind it down. I guess I could have just looked at my own watch to uh, see what time it was. It's one of my uh, custom painted dials that the wife did for me. And uh, love the pop of color. <clears throat> so that is this build. This build will come with watch cleaner. This is good on all glass and metal parts, so everything here in the center. It will come with some leather conditioner, which of course I do not have sitting over here, but it's a little bottle, uh, about yay big. And it's to keep this leather strap perfectly soft. So if you ever feel that the strap is hard or not as pliable as you like, apply it on the front and the back. Let it soak in. Remove any excess. A little bit will go a long way. And then lastly, you're going to get some uh, 
Novus 2. This is a fine scratch remover. It's like poly watch and it's for your acrylic glass because you can scratch it. But if you do, no worries. Put a tiny bit of this on it and buff it out using your included microfiber. If it's up and down, just go left and right, do little circles, uh, blend that in, and uh, you will fill that scratch and then buff it out. So that is it. This watch is going to you. Congrats. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you like it. Um, this is not really a watch I can remake. I've got dials that are similar, but they're not quite the same. They're all just slightly different. And then um, that was a custom uh, bezel insert I had made. I believe I have the inverse version of that. Um, so uh, would be a very, very, very tough build to replicate. Plus, we cannot quite replicate that exact dial and how it turned out. So... Uh, if it's going to you, you got a super custom one-off. Um, I don't have many of these uh, flame bronze Kraken dials. Um, I think I have some greens and I have some more blue-purple variations, but not too many. So, uh, like I said, if it's going to you, congrats and thank you for your support. And uh, if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe I put them up all the time. And if you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. Thanks, guys.